over to you himanshu thank you thank you tushar so looks exciting and pretty much the video creatives are very exciting to to see live in action now for the event manager uh, what was the need for event manager as in so earlier uh, we used to have sc pixel and event manager is successor of xc pixel so in xc pixel we didn't have had any way of verifying pixel so what is a pixel how it impacts you is basically uh, you want to track any conversion campaign you want to run a campaign for your app install or you want to run a campaign for your website where you want to track add to cart purchases and so on now you wanted to track that uh, but for verification and implementation of pixel it is it was very hard for advertisers sometimes it took as much as uh, 7 to 10 days to implement pixel and get the verification done before going live with the campaign now we have reduced it to only 15 minutes or 30 minutes at max now wh- why why was the need for event manager is basically the, at the turnaround time was very high and advertisers faced a lot of issues uh in in verification of the pixel that they didn't know how whether the pixel was working properly or not right so yeah. so event manager so what is event manager now uh shechat event manager is a tool uh, that will help you enable to set up monitor integration such as mobile app conversion api so what are mobile app conversion apis mobile app conversion apis uh, has everything which is basically mmp and your conversion uh, push packs uh, which are non mmp if you don't uh, don't have any mmp will support you by doing a direct integration which will come later on in this section and it has share chat pixel for mobile and websites yeah, you can use event manager to verify the test events like i said and you can create a campaign from once the verification is done now what what this uh, entails is basically here you can see on the event manager this is the event manager logo here once you land here there is a setup new data source uh, at the bottom once you click on setup new data source uh, it, it will redirect you to the entire setup here on the right side you will see mobile app conversion api that will tell you if you have any live integration as of now or not secondly and then you have a website pixel which will tell you if you have any uh, website pixel integrated with event manager or not now what are mobile app conversion apis uh, it is designed to create a connection between advertisers marketing data such as app events uh, from advertiser server directly to mmp server or directly to our server if you opting for uh, direct integration it it basically helps you optimize ad targeting and measure outcomes you, when you can measure outcome you can tweak adjust your ad accordingly as per the result you are getting if you want to increase the budget to get gain most out of uh, share chat then you can do so also So once you click on uh, set up new data source uh, you get two options here mobile app conversion apis and website pixel so let's proceed with the first one first and once i go here and select mobile app conversion apis uh, you land on this section here you you are asked for app name so mobile app conversion api is for basically all apps mobile apps uh, here you can put your app name then we ask you to information whether it is listed on play store or not listed on play store since the integration differs uh, a little bit on the url side uh, where we had to modify your url that's why we ask uh, if it is listed on play store we utilize a refer parameter called uh, hand refer which is natively provided by google and we ask you uh, if you have a play store url you put in your play store url here if you don't have it you just say not listed on play store and proceed to next once you click on next we we show you the list of five mmps uh, which are basically aflair branch kochava singular and adjust and and this we have an active integration as a partner share chat as a partner so you can quickly integrate uh, within 15 minutes you will be able to go live with the integration now what happens if you don't have any of these five mmps so now in the below here you will see uh, don't uh, did don't want a partner integration click here for direct integration So once you click here for direct integration, you will be redirected to an external tab. Well, we will give you everything, every information to do a direct integration from your mobile app server to our server directly. Now, once you have selected any of these MMPs, uh, we you click next and you land on this page. Now, this page is integration type page. Uh, this this basically asks you whether you want to do a server to server integration or you want to proceed with the uh, 
normal attribution link. So what is a server to server integration? Uh, you are directly for in server to server integration. You are directly uh, sending events from share chat to partner via an S2S call, uh, which is server to server call. In attribution no links, normally it basically jumps from uh, your uh, mobile app device to MMP partner, then back to us. Server to server is recommended here because it has a lesser discrepancy because you are directly sending the events uh, numbers. Now, once you click next, you land on the test link. Uh, so here we we ask you to uh, basically uh, follow these instructions uh, how to set up. So since this uh, integration partner is F there, we ask you once you have implemented. So there's a set of steps. Uh, so first one is uh, once you have implemented FLR SDK into your app, then follow these next steps. You'll have to go to the FLR and navigate to the integrated partner, search for share chat, how to enable them. So to enable, uh, we have to enable the pushback, enable the permission for us to check if we have received event or not. Uh, under permissions, we tell you where to go. Uh, follow the set of two options, XX aggregate conversion data and enable these XS aggregate in-app events data also. So once it is done, uh, it, we check if the MMP has a partner view or not. Now, once you have done those, we ask you to go to your configuration section under active integration and then uh, copy these attribution links which are present, uh, which is basically click, click attribution link and view attribution link. Commonly known as CTA and VTA links or click through, click through attribution or view through attribution. We ask you to copy that and paste it here in these two sections. Now, once you have done that, you click next. Uh, here, a section is there, uh, learn more section. If you have any any issue, uh, you're not getting uh, the setup steps. Once you click learn more, it will redirect you to an external page, uh, which has a more detailed view of uh, this set of instructions to follow. Here in this section, once you click next, you will be presented with a test link. Now this test link, as you remember, if it is was listed on Play Store, it is showing Play Store uh, referral. Uh, parameter. Now, what you have to do here also, you have instructions to follow. You have to click to copy link. There's a, this button. Once you click on this button, right? Uh, your link will be copied and there's a session timer also 15 minutes. Now, once you click and copy this link, uh, this timer countdown starts from 15 minutes. Now you have next 15 minutes to copy this link on onto your, uh, copy this link from here and go onto your mobile device. Uh, if you want to optimize for lesser deposit, right? And uh, you want to track deposit. So you will have to install the app uh, via this link, then uh, perform registration and do a wallet deposit on your uh, on your mobile device itself. So you'll be able to record those events and show you instantly here within next uh, 15 minutes. So this uh, we check every one minute whether those event came or not to, to our server. Uh, if it came, will show you in a verification screen, which is the last part. So once you have done that, so it will show you install and registration on all the events that you have done so far. So we'll be able to show that. And that is how you complete an end-to-end -end integration in a simple 15 to 20 minutes flow uh, for mobile app conversion APIs. Now, once that is done, you can click on create new campaign now button here itself and get redirected to the campaign creation page where you are good to go for campaign creation and you will be able to select your app whatever your app name was in the very first screen that you have shown uh, to select that and proceed with the conversion campaign itself now what happens in in case of pixel so what is website pixel uh, what is share chat pixel share chat pixel is nothing but a simple javascript code Right, which uh, sits on your uh, browser, right, uh, and and lets you measure and optimize your uh, uh, audiences, build your campaign for. Now you can think of it as as an analytical tool, uh, which which allows you to measure effectiveness effectiveness of your ad ad network uh, targeting, and and uh, all the actions that are taken on your website by folks who are visiting your website, such as add to cart purchase, view cart, uh, view item, but that's that's all. And then once you click uh, website pixel here, uh, you, you proceed to next step. Here also you'll get a similar screen. Here instead of app details, we ask you for website details. Uh, first one we ask you is your website name. Then we ask you for your website landing page URL. Now 
landing page url could be anything but we ask you to put any of the product detail page for you uh, it is easily uh, easy to verify now this landing page detail uh, would not be auto populated uh, in, in your campaign so you, you can put a product page detail here now we ask you in the third step is select the events you want to verify or you want to install on your website so you uh, there is a drop down you can select a number of events we have like a list of events uh you can select add to cart add to wish list lead purchase any number of events for this example sake uh, let's suppose you selected add to cart purchase and so on and you move to next screen now here on the next screen you land on these four integration types or integration partner you can say so first one we have a, a, a you can integrate share chat pixel via google tag manager so this one is google tag manager then second one is shopify third one is wordpress and fourth, fourth one is woocommerce now if you have a website on any of these three platform apart from tag manager you can directly go and integrate if you have tag manager you can use tag manager as a tool to integrate website pixel shared website pixel on n number of website doesn't matter which stack it is built on now even if you don't have any you do want don't, don't want to choose any of these four options right we have a fifth option for you which is direct integration what is direct integration it allows you to directly copy paste the code into your website at a specific placeholder so once you click on direct integration you will be redirected to an external page which will tell you where to copy and paste how to integrate how to create a trigger on your website uh, it is specifically you will need a dev here uh, uh, engineer to help you uh, implement those codes and, and basically create those triggers on your own website so now for this example sake we take shopify and then we move on here once you have done that uh integration type is shopify you will see here here you get two options uh, instead of one as mmp here you get a watch tutorial option and learn more option now if you click on watch tutorial a video will be played here it's like 2 3 5 minutes video at max and you it shows you entire end to end integration for each of the integration type that you select how to do it where to copy the code where to paste the code how to move on with the code everything end to end till the verification part so you don't have to worry about it so we wanted this integration to be as simple as a simple copy and paste uh, exercise so that's why we have made it this way so here is a set of steps uh, that you will need to follow uh, it basically tells you to log in to your shopify account uh, go to theme.liquid select this option action center now go to edit code copy the code from this is scrollable field uh, so you will be able to scroll and copy the code from below and paste it on your shopify website uh same is shown in the video also now there is a section uh, a share chat pixel event this is a event setup tool uh, this is this can be utilized uh, to place events on buttons uh, which is for example there is a add to cart button on your website or or a uh, uh, initiate checkout button on your website then you can directly place the initiate checkout add to cart uh, events on directly those buttons and that is also covered in this video which will play later on also uh this is then uh, on the fourth screen we ask you to give us permission to temporarily monitor your website for next 15 minutes and once you click allow here uh this countdown timer again starts so once you click allow a new tab will be open where you will be going and performing all those events which you have selected in the first step for example i selected add to cart and purchase so i'll be going and adding one product to the cart doing performing one purchase so we'll be able to monitor so once we we get that every one minute we check uh you land on this screen automatically you don't have to do anything for example at two purchase at to cart was there and even three which was assigned so it it shows now here's uh two of the demo videos for event manager this is one for fsr mmp and this is for mobile app conversion api and this is for pixel uh, shopify integration i'll play it one by one to go
now now for website pixel i'll play this video this is a shopify integration
Okay, uh, so that was all uh, for event manager. So we we both see that uh, we all see that uh, here in both sections uh, you will be able to see the verification screen pretty easily. And post that you can keep take your campaign. That's all.